next weekend. Here's Erez to bring you tonight's three keys. Thanks a lot, JJ, and let's get to tonight's three keys for the ball game. For both teams, the running game, first of all, is going to be a huge factor. Michael Fields, a great running back on the Nathan Hale side, is a burner. He can pretty much control the game all by himself, so they're going to have to find a way to stop him. On the other side of the ball, Bishop Blanchett, Cameron Cutter is a great running back. He gets the ball sometimes 30 to 40 times a game. It's going to be very huge for them to try to stop him. Second of all, you've got the passing game. We've got the two highest rated passers in the Metro League. Jordan Sullivan, quarterbacking Hale, loves to spread the ball around. He's got a lot of targets, so it's going to be huge to stop him as well as Spencer Marquise on the Bishop Blanchett side. Very talented quarterback, can hurt you in many ways. And finally, another key to tonight's game is going to be ball control. It's been raining on and off here today. The field will be slick. Footing probably won't be a problem, but holding on to the ball in the passing game as well as fumbles, no turnovers will also be a huge key, so ball control will tell a big story. So there you have it. Should be a great one tonight in this playoff game, crossover game in the Metro League. And we'll have it for you next on Comcast Varsity Sports. And after this, we'll have Bishop Blanchett head coach, George Monica. Erez Katz is standing by with Nathan Hale high head coach, Hoover Hopkins. Thanks, JJ, and we're back here with the coach of Nathan Hale, Hoover Hopkins. Uh, coach Hopkins, a bit of a tough first half. They kind of had their way offensively with your defense, and uh, what, do, what kind of adjustments did you make at halftime and try to pull your team closer? Well, we just got to uh, stick to fundamentals uh, and, you know, make sure we get to the quarterback on defense. I mean, he's a great quarterback and the receivers are outstanding. We knew that coming in. Uh, we just got to keep him in front of us and, uh, and, and make plays. They're making plays. We're not. Simple as that. Absolutely. And he's getting a lot of time to throw the ball as well. And, yeah, are you going to maybe switch it up and come with some blitzes, some different packages? Well, we've, uh, you know, they're doing a great, their offensive line's doing a great job. We've been sending six, seven guys uh, most of the time, and, uh, you know, we just got to get to them. We've been sending people, but uh, it hasn't been effective, obviously. Right, they've done a good job. So um, best of luck in the second half, and we'll see if you can get it turned around. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, and back to you, JJ, for the start of the second half. Thank you, Arrez. For tonight's Comcast Varsity Sports Player of the Game, and let's take it down to Erez Katz. Thanks, JJ. And we're back here with tonight's Comcast Varsity Sports Player of the Game. It's the quarterback of Bishop Blanchett, Spencer Marquis. Spencer, you had a great game all night. You guys look so confident um, running the offense to perfection. How are you able to just dissect that Nathan Hale defense? Well, uh, the line played really good. We had a lot of time, a lot more time than I thought I would. And receivers got open and caught the ball. So as easy as that, I guess. Absolutely, and your defense really keyed as well, and they just, you frustrated them all night. They were not able to do anything they wanted to do. I thought you guys were pretty evenly matched teams coming in, but you guys took over tonight. Yeah, well, uh, the coaches did really well. We had a great game plan, and uh, we executed. And Cameron had a great game. He stepped up as linebacker, and I uh, thought we just did pretty well. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on a great win tonight. Here's a sweatshirt. You're the play of the game. Good luck in the playoffs next week, right. and keep it up. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. Back up to you, JJ. Thank you very much.